Okay, we're back. We've got the Franken Kindle. Here's the Kindle up top. Here's the keypad down here at the bottom. I've assigned functions to all the buttons here to execute macros on the hacked Kindle that I have up here at the top. Everything's connected through the circuit boards in the back we'll get to here in just a second. Just wanted to demonstrate how it works. We've got basic menu functionality here, up and down. So if I go down here, now I can select different menu options and then back up again. We want to go ahead and look at the Kindle user's guide, so I go ahead and select that. Wait patiently, jumps to the last page I was reading. We go to the next page, I'm just going to use this little right arrow here. It will execute a script and very slowly turn the page. It's not very quick, but I'm not too worried about it. I can turn left again, go back where I was a second ago. I'm not too worried about the speed of this particular script mainly because, well, you're reading a book. You're not going to be turning pages particularly quickly. Um, we've only got limited functionality on this keypad down here at the bottom, primarily because I just ran out of buttons. Um, I can add additional buttons, and in later revisions of this project, I, I probably will. For now, however, it's functional. If we look at what we've got around here in the back, this is the circuit board that's actually interfacing the control board in the back to the Kindle itself. If we go ahead and take a closer look, God awful soldering job here on the left and a little uh, flat flexible cable connector here on the side. The actual circuit during the work is back here. This again is the same circuit we saw before with the Teensy, a couple of multiplexers, and some power conditioning. It's powered from a wall work coming in at 5 volts. And that's really about it. So the Franken Kindle is alive. Thanks for watching.